In today's makeup lesson, I want to show you how to create this look using three matte eyeshadows. The reason I wanted to do this is because one, I really like this look, and two, because I feel like for beginners, if you can master applying matte eyeshadows, then you can do anything. Matte eyeshadows are a little tricky to use, so I want to share lots of tips and tricks to make sure it works for you, but also you can change up this look in so many different ways. It's really a basic look that can be made dramatic or made toned down, so I hope that you guys enjoy this one. This is a palette that we're going to be using, and I'm sure you all own eyeshadows like this. We have a light, medium, and dark. Then we also have the three shimmers, but we'll just ignore them for now. It's a very easy look to recreate, so let's get started. So as always, we're going to start by applying an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. This is going to create a blank canvas for us to work on, but it's also going to give our eyeshadows something to grip hold of. Because my eyeshadows naturally have a dry texture, they need a little bit of moisture in order for them to grip onto the skin. Otherwise, they can kind of just sit there. If you think of it as when you were a kid doing little art projects and you'd put glue on and then you'd sprinkle glitter and then you'd knock off the excess glitter and the glitter would only hold on to the damp glue. That's the same thing as using a primer with matte eyeshadows. So this is a palette that we're going to be using today. I'm going to start off with this spiced coffee shade and we're going to be applying this with a fluffy brush. Not a flat brush, not our fingertips, but a fluffy brush. And we want to apply a very small amount at a time and build this up because our base is damp. It's really important that we don't just put a load of eyeshadows on there because they will hold too much. So a little goes a long way and you want to very slowly build this up. Now I'm starting on the outer corner. I'm bringing it down onto the lid and then across the lid. So with this eyeshadow, what this is going to do is to create sort of a base for us. So it's going to create a soft blur everywhere. So it's going to go into the crease and then onto the lid. Again, very slowly build the shadow up because that damp base is going to hold too much if you put too much on. Now, because I want to just kiss the crease of the eye, I'm going to keep my hand a little higher. Now, if you have your hand higher, you're going to get a lower blend. So it's going to work into that area and across. But then if you bring your hand lower, it's going to actually bring a higher blend. So the higher the hand, the lower the blend, the lower the hand, the higher the blend. So just bear that in mind when you're applying eyeshadow. Watch for your hand placement. I'm then going to take a clean brush and I'm just going to kind of buff over everything. This is just going to make sure that that base is nicely covered. It's going to make sure that our base is nice and even. And that's why it's always a good idea to have a clean blending brush handy whenever you do a makeup look. I know I'm throwing a lot of things at you right now, but I also want you to be careful with your angles. So using the edge of your nose, eye and brow, you want to make sure you're working up and inwards from this point. Just make sure you get that nice angle. Even if you want to bring it outside of your eye shape, just watch for your angle. Moving on, I'm going to use this deep chocolatey brown. And we're going to be applying this with a fluffy brush again, starting on that outer corner. Now, I want to be very careful where I apply this. This is going to go on that outer corner. I'm bringing my hand nice and high because I don't want to get it in the crease. Your highest shade is always your mid-tone. Your contour is always a little lower than that. So keep your hand nice and high, apply it on the outer edge, and kind of softly blend inwards, just to about that halfway point of the lid. If you feel like you need to, again, take that clean blending brush and very softly go over and around the edges. And when you are using a clean blending brush, make sure you keep a really light touch. Don't put too much pressure on it. It's just kind of blurring rather than actually kind of buffing. A few people comment on the fact that it always looks like I have like this like patch on the edge of my eye. And this is very common for a lot of people. I have a little bit of damage to my lid, so it holds onto eyeshadow in kind of unusual way. Really up close is the only way that you can see it. From far away, it's not that noticeable. But I do want to mention it because I do get comments about it sometimes. Now we're going to cut the crease. I know, it's scary. It's scary when you're a beginner, but I promise you, it isn't as scary as you think. You just have to go for it. So I'm using this very tiny little brush, which is the cutest thing ever, and I applied a little bit of concealer to that inner corner of the eye. Then what I do is I kind of just look around, and this is going to help me see the shape that I want to create, and then I just fill it in. We're only going to about the third to half the lid. Just covering it with concealer. I know, it feels weird, but 
give it a go. We're then going to take that lighter shade and we're going to stamp this with our fingertips or a brush over the concealer. Don't worry if it looks patchy, I'll show you how to fix that in a second, but you're just pressing this over the concealer. Now you can do this without using the concealer, but you just won't get that really sharp finish, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Now here's the trick. You then want to go back in with that spicy coffee shade and you want to blur the edges where the light meets the dark on the lid. So right in between, you want to make sure you apply this eyeshadow, kind of tap it in there, very softly blend, and it creates this beautiful fade. This is what I refer to as a fade shade. Sometimes I'll use an actual different eyeshadow, but in this case, it actually works great to use your mid-tone as a fade shade. And so what you end up with is a blend from that cream to that spicy coffee to that chocolate shade. And you should end up with something like this. And I'm going to call myself out here. I did not blend very well right at my brow. I should have blended that a little bit more. It's a little harsh, but I'm calling myself out on that. Maybe that's something to watch for for other people. Now on the waterline, I'm going to keep it nice and clean because I like that cleanness on the lid, cleanness on the waterline. So we're applying a cream pencil to the waterline. So that little, little ridge on your eye, it's going to open those eyes more. And I feel like it complements the look. I'm then going to take that spicy coffee shade again, and we're going to apply this with a flat brush this time, just underneath the eye. I tend to look upward so I don't get it too low. That can be a problem, especially if you're like looking down in mirror. So try looking upwards with your mirror in order to get right underneath the lashes. I finished off the look with some invisible liner. So that's applying liner that's really, really thin right at the lash line, some mascara and lashes. And there you go. That is the finished look. I hope that you will give it a go using mattes. I love using mattes. And if you can perfect this look, then you can do anything. I will show you how you can add a little bit of shimmer into this look in another video, but I hope that you enjoyed this one and we'll give it a go. Have a wonderful day. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. You're doing the best that you can, and I'll see you next time.